It's ready. Today's episode is brought to you by Papa Go, Orange Blossom, Mandarin plus wheat. Good local beer from Tempe, Arizona. From their orange farm to your table. We're not really sponsored by them, but you know, that's good. Like companies, look at this. Look what G just did. He'll put you on. We'll put you on. We're nice people. We're respectable uh, human beings with morals and uh, good qualities. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better. Whatever they say about us out there is just a uh, hearsay. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it's just hearsay. That's it. That's it, baby. Another week, another, another fucking day to express yourself and live and breathe and talk shit and talk a lot of shit. A lot of shit. What do we got? Football's back on. Football's back on for sure. Football's bike. Yeah, el football regresó. La gente va a estar. Ahí en la casa haciendo nada desde las 10 de la mañana pisteando machine. Eh? Machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Do you follow football at all? Like, really follow it or are you just like, whatever? Nah, I mean, this year I'm actually excited to uh, follow the Jets just because of um, boy over there. What's his name? From oh. Green Bay? Aaron Rodgers. Oh, okay, yeah. He's like, he he left and his, like, his, um, how do I say? It? He's. He's a different person. Mm -hmm. Like he's uh, como que he's having fun. Right. It seems like he's having fun and I hope he does good. You know, I hope he does. He has a good season. Yeah, for sure. That yeah. that might be like the, the over under. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're they're uh, pegged uh, to win. OK. Yeah. So we'll see the Jets. Yeah. But do you follow football like that? Or no? I haven't for a long time. Um, I felt I follow more basketball now only because, you know, it's a little bit more exciting. It's a little bit more exciting. You know, FanDuel got me by the balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm betting, I'm betting, I'm betting. Um, but yeah, no, football I don't really bet on. It's a little bit tougher. Yeah, those fuckers that you you might you might peg someone to, you know, go for 200 yards and they don't. And they don't, and they don't. <laughs> it's like 12 yards. Yeah, and then the next game they go for 400. Exactly. And it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I don't, I, I can't crack the formula for uh, football. Any other sport, I really can't crack the formula. The only one I've really been successful with is basketball. Yeah occasionally there was a moment in time where um where i would wake up and like oh, there's no basketball right yeah so i'd be like at work just chilling on my phone i'm like man you know what let me run a let me run this this european uh, soccer like third uh, division league and see what the fuck and they would hit yeah and they would hit and then i would just roll that shit like all day yeah just keep going with it i, I did that shit before but um it was when i would randomly wake up at like 2 a.m or 3 a.m mm -hmm. and then i would you know jump into tennis or like oh, whatever you know, was going on. You know what? On I started watching world. tennis recently. It's kind of fun. It is fun. It's yeah. fast paced. Yeah, yeah. I like it. There's this uh, Coco. There's a young girl from here from uh, from the states. Mm -hmm. Can't remember her last name, but her name's Coco. She. Uh, I was watching her like you know serve some shit up. No pun intended. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> she was serving some shit up and like uh, she was she was playing against this older uh, a veteran I would say mm -hmm. and uh, she was just trying to like she was being a bitch. Mm -hmm. She would uh. Because I, I guess when you're serving, um, it's your turn to serve. Uh, the, the person receiving has to be at your pace. Okay. So they have to be ready. They can't just be fucking lollygagging. Oh, like, you know, I'm tying my shoe. Like, you have to be ready for the serve. Yeah. So if, and if you consi consistently do it, uh, they'll deduct points. Oh, shit. Okay. So, um, and I didn't know, but like in between uh, sets, you know how they give you a water break and shit for like five minutes, 10 minutes? You yeah. can't sit down. No? Mm -mm. Damn. There's a lot I don't know about this. That's yeah, so I was finding out, and the girl was, like, going up to the to the ump. Uh -huh. uh, she's like, why? She's sitting down. She's like, you know that's against the rules. And after that, like, she broke her. Like, uh, the other girl, the other lady, she's like, oh, you know, I'm... It's basically, like, you know, no se dejo la muchacha. Yeah. And uh, it ended up backfiring another person. I would fuck with them. I would, I would be telling them, like, hey, no pasa nada. Like, siéntate tú también a la verga. <laughs> No, no, you have to be on the palo, eh? You have to be real professional type <laughs> shit. It's like very prestigious too, mm -hmm. huh? They got the big Rolex sponsorships. Yeah, they do. They got the big, probably the big Buick sponsorships. You know, they got they got them sitting in Evian on water. Yeah, and Evian on water. Yeah, everything, all that stuff. I I can't remember what it was that I. Oh, I was watching. Um, I was watching the show called Ballers. Oh, okay. And um, you know, it's about agents and uh and football players or whatever. So uh, there's this one agent that uh, was getting ready to leave some party and he's getting ready to jump into his Buick. And uh, and one of the other characters uh, tells him, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, why haven't you upgraded? And he goes, it's good enough for Peyton Manning. 
<laughs> y luego le dice el otro. He's like, that was a commercial. He's like, Pey Peyton Manning drives a Mercedes. He's like, switch that shit up. Damn, what did they say? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Right. They said that uh, along the, the, that topic of the, uh, the tennis and shit, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if anybody out there has watched this, but there is like this, uh, it's kind of like a docu-series. It's kind of like the like Drive to Survive, the F1 thing. Okay. So it, it, it's kind of like the same style of shooting and following these people around. But there's a series where um, they follow around people that play golf and then people that play tennis. I've watched the golf one. Oh, you watched the golf one? Okay, yeah. Well, I watched the tennis one very recently. And I think it's so funny how, like, they, they make them try to look, like, super hard. You know what I mean? Like, they're walking out and then, like, you know, there's slow motion. The music's crazy. And then, you know, all they're going to do is, like, just go warm up and hit the ball <laughs> a little bit. And that's it. And that's it. Yeah. It's kind of like uh like I, I like the NBA shit when they when they start doing like the day fits like what they're wearing for the day. Oh yeah, the fits. Yeah, yeah I like that shit. I like that too. I'm looking forward to that. But uh, since we're talking about the football shit, um, I, I mentioned this to you earlier, and I wanted to get your opinion on uh, Noah Lyles. Okay. On what he said regarding like you're not a world champion. Oh okay. So uh, here, let me see. You know the up. thing that hurts me the most is that I have to watch the NBA Finals and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? <laughs> no cap. The United States? No cap. Don't get me wrong. I, I love the U.S. at times. <laughs> but that ain't the world. That is not the world. We are the world. We have almost every country out here fighting, thriving, putting on their flag to show that they are represented. I'm with there you. There ain't no flags in the NBA. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> There's one, yeah. What's your take on that? Um, I think that I think that he's right. I think that, you know, for you to call yourself a world champion, you really have to be playing all over the world. You really have to be putting in, you know, that time to to get as good as you can be because you're playing against people that you might have just met that day mm -hmm. not people that you've been in the league with for years and you kind of know their style and their game and how they move and what they like and don't like and this and that and the third right and you're watching you know film which i'm sure you can watch film and shit for uh for other worldly sports but it's different you know what i mean it's different when you're not when you're not running a game uh you know various times of the year with this with these other people and it's just like you know i get this one opportunity to run game against this motherfucker like i'm gonna show out and i think that should be put on a bigger platform on a bigger pedestal than being able to say, uh, you know, world champion for for the NBA in that regard. And I think it's an American sport thing because they do that for the NFL. They do that for the MLB and they do that for the NBA. Yeah. I don't know if they do that for the NHL, but uh, I don't watch it enough or the MLS. But like they don't do that shit in Europe with uh, in uh, the EPL, the English Premier. They don't do that. They don't do that in La Liga. They don't do that in Bundesliga. They don't do that in Le uh, Liga M MX. Like, you know, all these other sports where it's the same thing, same concept, you know, it's a league within a country. Right. They don't do that. They don't claim world champion of nothing. You're just el campeón de la liga. Yeah. Right. Of and, that specific thing. Yeah. And, and, and the argument from, you know, fuck, fuck Kevin Durant. You're not even welcome here in Arizona, dog. <laughs> you still haven't got your pass. <laughs> fuck you. He was the first one to talk about that shit. Like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. It's the best league in the world. Yeah. That's cool. But you still didn't compete against everyone else. You're just competing amongst yourselves. Right. Like you can just be called NBA champions for sure. And what's why do you have to have the world in there? Exactly. And then the whole argument was like, well, we'll wash the whole world when we play when Team US plays against, uh, <laughs> you know, in the in the FIFA. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, well, that's not the that's not the point. You're missing the point. But I don't I don't, I agree with the dude right here. Like I'm big basketball fan, and big uh, baseball fan, but I don't agree with world champion of anything. Like you're the champion of the league, and that's it. Right. And that's it. Like, that's why you have the World Series of Baseball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you know, you're on you're on now point with that. One, yeah. Sure. So it's just like, but yeah, all of them. Draymond Green, my twin, he also fucking has some shit to say about that. But it is what it is. Was anybody uh like, OK with it? Did you hear anybody talk like, OK, yeah, he's right. That's like somebody. No, nah, because only people that really got it in their butt uh, in their feelings were NBA players. Oh, OK. And it was American NBA players. Like, I love this country. Like, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love this country. I'm a patriot. But I, I, I agree with that, with that notion of it's like you're not the world champion of nothing. Right. I love how he was like, you know, he was so like, 
it was kind of like a joke to him, you know, like yeah. when he was talking about it. I thought that was funny. Because like even even look at boxing. Yeah, sure you have different uh um like I don't I don't I can't name the like WBM whatever, I don't know. You know the different titles. Right, like WBC and WBF yeah, yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. But they also individually represent countries and it's like each fighter is individually rep representing a country and fighting against another nation right you know in that at that particular time mm -hmm. and even they can say that they're the world champions like hey you know what i beat all the motherfuckers i went through the rankings and it was various countries that were represented right they can get they can say that mm -hmm. american sports you can't say that <laughs> no you can't say you that you can't say that american sports stay in your lane stay, stay in america yeah stay in america American champions. American champions. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Also on the sports topic, I'm very disappointed in uh, Julio Rias. Oh, okay. Julio Rias se pasó de verga. Yeah. Disapp yeah, it's disappointing. It's uh, I never, I didn't even know that that was a thing for him. And it you, is. And you mentioned that it, it's been a, it's been a repeat thing that's kind of happened here and there. But uh, man. Yeah, like he's. Uh, this is the second time that he has been caught. Uh, beating on uh, his wife. Uh -huh. I personally saw him arguing on the phone for like 20 minutes, yelling at his wife uh, mm -hmm. outside of Lifetime Fitness. <laughs> In Goodyear. In Shout, Goodyear. Out Goodyear. <laughs> Shout out to Goodyear. <laughs> yeah, because when spring training comes around, uh, he would frequently go to Lifetime Fitness. Mm -hmm. And that same day that I saw him do that, I was like, yo, congratulations on your championship, blah, blah, blah. You know? And that was it. Like, I didn't even bother him for a picture because nobody really was knew who he like. That, that, at that time, we're still wearing masks. Right. So people didn't really notice his fucked up eye either. Yeah. Um, so nobody se la arrimaba. So no le quería cagar el palo pa que... Like blow him up. Yeah, blow him up. So I just said, you know, congrats, dapped him up, and that was it. But he has a history of that. And I personally believe that he should get the same treatment Trevor Bauer got. He mm -hmm. got suspended for the league for two years. Like, it's... Whoa. He's not allowed to be in the MLB. Like, and even, even then, I don't know once his suspension is up if he's going to be signed by any team if anybody's going to want to deal with him right and um the thing is like this fool like i said he has a history of fucking beating on his wife uh-huh son las veces que sabemos hey that it's come out yeah these are the times that it's come out yeah so that's crazy like but how do you get how do you get to to that point like i get i get you know people get mad people get upset they get annoyed right but to beat on your wife or maybe a family member in or public some, in public or something like you have to be off right there has to be something off because i mean if if i was in that position I, and i was on that stage on that platform how, how they are it's not only like oh i'm beating on my wife which is absolutely wrong and and disgusting but it's like do i really want to do this thing that's going to get me potentially suspended for two years that's going to fuck up my bag fuck up my career fuck up my legacy all just because of like you know se me subió un poco no sé and the thing is, this is his contract year. Was his contract year? Oh, okay. So he was really playing for you know the next deal. Yeah, he was about to get a bag. He was about to get a multi-year deal, potentially worth over a hundred million. Yeah, and that's that's probably gone now. Wow. What I don't know if you know or if you've uh, seen anything that's transpired, but like, what was the repercussions to that coming out, if any yet? Oh, he's uh, they removed him off the roster. Oh, they removed him off the roster? He's off the roster. The It's being investigated. They're doing the whole, you know, politically correct thing about investigating shit to right. come to a conclusion. But I think a lot of people don't understand that within professional sports and NBA basketball, I mean, NBA, MLB, and more than likely NFL, there's the collective bargaining agreement. And there's also um, rules that, ha that come along with that that you have to follow because you're a representation of the sport. Right. And... I'm pretty sure beating on your wife is a, a, a rule that you cannot break. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> For sure. So it's just like, why would you do that? Like, I don't understand. Like, yeah. Get, you know, like, I don't understand. Like, man, like, uh, if you, I'm sure he's cheating too. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah. If you're beating on your wife, if you're beating on your <laughs> wife, <laughs> cheating happened a long time ago. Yeah. So I'm just like, yo, like, you know, las, las mujeres mexicanas aguantan. Eh, sí. Entonces, si ya te están aguantando, ¿para qué le pegas? It's you, hey, damn. It's just like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm mad with my, my, uh, my side chick pissed me off, so I'm going to take it out on you. <laughs> yo, no cap. Pick one or the other. Yeah, pick one or the other. Oh, fuck. 
Yeah, well, hopefully, um, you know, justice is served and he learns his lesson and he doesn't continue to be a, a moron about, you know, about that that whole thing. But hey, to each his own, whatever. To each their own. If I was his agent, which his agent is like uh, Scott Boris, who represents uh, probably like the best, most elite baseball players. And I'm sure he was like, motherfucker. You think he called him pissed? Yeah, I'm sure he was like, pendejo. <laughs> yeah. And then he was and then he was probably like, see, wey, que voy a hacer, wey, que voy a hacer. And then Boris was probably like, well, let me handle it. No digas nada, wey. Tu no digas nada. Vete al gym. Mira, vete, vete a un charity event. Y ahí pásatela ahí tranquilón. No te dejes la pinche cara. I was thinking about that too. Like, I wonder if he's like, if he's left his house. Mm, probably. I mean, I don't know. I, I wouldn't leave my house. I mean, I don't. I mean, if you're doing shit like that, you're not leaving your house. Yeah, I wouldn't leave my house. I don't want to get seen. Yeah, that too. But like, even even aside from that, I think it might be like, because he still is who he is, right? So it might be like a pride thing, to where he's just like, I'm mi pinche casa, yo no me voy aquí a la verga. But maybe the agent might talk him into like, hey, wait, but but they wait, but they pay Oh yeah that shit was so funny good <laughs> should i should we play that real yeah, quick yeah we should play that shit let me see that uh vamos a, vamos a ver qué falta en en, en wamuchi en wamuchi cambiale para que para que salga en la tele a ver a ver vámonos ahí les va eh what the fuck is that like how is that a thing yo I, is told, that just like a running joke it might be a running joke, but they might really like uh, Carl Jr. Yeah, because I, I can't remember what like neighboring pueblo has a Carl Jr. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ahí está el pedo, pues. Yeah, como I don't know, say allá para Valerio I don't know where, but que o en Mazatlán. Creo que en Mazatlán tiene un Carlos Jr. Oh, okay. Pero ya Mazatlán es ya tienes otra cosa. Sí, sí, verdad. Sí, va muy chico y Mazatlán no se comparan. Se necesita más que un pinche Carl Jr. Sí. <laughs> Jr. para que se gradúe, güey. <laughs> no sé qué pasó allí, pero la pinche gente de tiro se pasa. Un chiple va. Yeah. Oh, uh, let me check my comment on Instagram that I said about a checko real quick. Okay, we gotta see. We gotta see what the light count's looking like. Might be over a thousand now. <laughs> <laughs> what was it last time? Uh, it's at 9.06. Last, oh, okay. uh, yesterday, I think, or the day before that I told you, I think I was creeping like 400 or oh, 500. Oh, fuck. So, <laughs> I, uh, so backstory, um, Helmut Marko, uh, this is for my Formula One people and for the people that are just interested knowing what I'm interested in. I love Formula One. We love Formula One here. Uh, we, we support our fellow countryman, Checo Perez, de allá de Jalisco. Un saludazo. Un saludazo al, uh, al plebón. Um, so anyways, uh, Helmut Marko was just a, uh, he's a really blunt person. He's from Austria. Uh, and this fucker, uh, okay. Anyways, so flip between them real quick. Obviously, say, no, 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 whatever. So pinche Helmut Marko, he's the, uh, like the driving dev developer. He's a scout. Yeah. And he's been a Red Bull scout for drivers for like 20 years. Yeah. Pero la razón que en realidad no más está en esa posición es porque el dueño de Red Bull era amigo de él, pero el dueño de Red Bull ya murió. Yeah. Y ese güey ya pinche en diapers, like, you gotta get rid of him. But the point <laughs> is that he said that, uh, you know, Checo can't pay attention and doesn't have the, that, that retard gene for Formula One because is this, is, is, he's South American. Mm -hmm. And I was telling Halo, like, one of the most disrespectful disrespectful things that you can tell a mexican is call him anything other than mexican but calling him south american that is insane that 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 pisses, that pisses me off more than being called slow is that right oh, yeah, like, bro i'd rather i'd rather be called slow than south american 
<laughs> that's just my opinion. So anyway, so uh, a few months ago, Red Bull had another thing like this, similar where one of their junior drivers dropped the N word on a live stream and got clipped. The next day they let him go. They, they tore up his contract and that was it. Yeah. And I'm just like, why haven't you guys done a public announcement for Thelma? Right. Why haven't you got rid of him? Yep. And um, so in one of the comments and one of the like latest posts, I was I was very early in the comments. <laughs> so I hit him with uh, justice for Checo right now. God damn it. And it went crazy. <laughs> and yeah. And he got a lot of likes. Pues la verdad, la verdad, pues. No sabe la gente, ¿verdad? Y sí. Vamos a, pa vamos a pasar acá con la viejona. Con la doña. Con, con la, la suegra. Doña, con la suegra. ¿Quieren ver ese? A ver. A ver, vamos a ver este de la, de la señora, ma. Let me rewind it because... Pa que vean, eh. Okay. Bueno, que se fueron a un concierto, la suegra y la novia. La suegra es la de negro y la novia es la de rosita. O la de beige. No sé qué color sea. La Ay. pinche mano cochambrosa. <laughs> Pero bien dejada, bien dejada. Y todavía acá con la manita acá en el hombro, como mi hijo calmado. Al rato parecen hermanas. Al rato ahí en mi casa. But I'm, I'm watching, like, if you if you hear this, like, the person who recorded this, they're saying, like, I wish I, I want to tell her so bad. Yeah. I want to I, I want to let her know what her, what her man's doing. Yeah. And and to me. To me, it's like this, like, mind your fucking business. Honestly. Mind your business. What about if you go up and up to her and tell her, hey, like, hey, your your man was uh, finger blasting your mom behind your back. No point intended. Yeah. And then she, what about if she says, we get down like that? Yeah. ¿Y qué? ¿Y luego qué? Tú vas a salir en vergüenzas. <laughs> Tú vas a salir en vergüenzas. Like, what's more, what's more embarrassing than you going to complain to someone and that person telling you to fucking mind your business? At that point, then you should probably understand that you should fucking mind your business from there on out. For sure. Right. Speaking of uh, finger blasting at antros and bailes and concerts, <laughs> yeah. you, it's, I would be very weary of that. Yeah. I, when I go out to a baile or an antro, it's very rare that I'm washing my hands on a regular basis. Right. So just FYI, ladies, you should probably not let Pedro finger bang you at an antro. His hands are not clean. No. They're not clean. El siguiente día las muchachas van a decir, ¿y la Susie dónde está? Because they're at brunch. Uh -huh. They're yeah. at brunch, bottomless mimosas. They're wondering where Susie's at. They're having a great time. They're having a great time. They're wondering where Susie's at. Susie is at urgent care. <laughs> Cause, cause she, <laughs> Susie's at urgent care because she has a UTI because she was being a little whore last night and getting finger blasted by hands that were not washed. <laughs> She got a she got a little bit of that horse and carriage dust up in there. That <laughs> tiro, por eso salen las UTIs, muchachas, eh? Y sí. Aquí le estamos diciendo con sinceridad, no le estamos diciendo por ser mala onda. Pónganse truchas a la verga. Pónganse truchas y tengan un poco de respeto. Y sí, y antes de que nos vayamos de, de este tema, mira, está en la, ahorita la cámara está en la tele y algo que dije es que I knew, oh. I, knew that, I knew that she was a big thought when I saw her wearing those vans right es, there. The, that specific model. That's not like the um, old school or anything. It's like, I don't know. I don't even know what it's called, but that specific model of van right there. Mm -hmm. That is the van that allows me to to know that you're a thought. There it is. Oh, que feo. Que yeah, feo. It's, it's a shoe that uh, represents that that uh, that caliber of woman, right? Yes, for sure. Yeah. Like if you have if you have those vans, we no te valúas, we. Mm mm. Respect for yourself is non-existent. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> and you should have, and she should have a little respect. For, yeah, a little respect. Porque, ah, mírale las piernas, mira. Ah, ya parió. Ah, mi ma. Right here. Literally. Mira. Ah, la madre, madre, la madre, ella irá. Ah, su, su ma. madre. A ah, su madre. A ah, su madre. A <laughs> <laughs> ah, su, ah, su madre. Y sí, güey. Está perra la, está perra la situación. Mm-hmm. Pero ya les dije, PSA. Have a little self, have a little self respect for yourself. Pinches manos en las cubiertas de, de las chelas, güey. Lo que te digo, güey, yo a veces yo soy una persona que me le, da, le, le das le das un saludazo así de mano, pues así como con respeto, güey, a, a casi todo el pinche rancho, güey, y luego yeah. ahí le andas metiendo los dedos allá al a lo bueno. So while we're on this topic, should, I, should we watch this one too? Ver, ¿Cuál es esa? Oh, sí, 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 sí. Esa sí. está suave también, güey. Ahí está. La mamá del señor, tenemos aquí a su mamá, la mamá del señor, es el llamado tequilero. 
pido un intercambio a cambio de, de la vida de mi esposo, yo le entregaré a su mamá. Y así como me entrega a mi esposo, así le entregaré a, a su mamá. Pero lo quiero sano y salvo. <risa> yeah, so the caption reads this Secuestra a su marido y ella secuestra a la madre al secuestrador Inge su madre Yo, yo, that is a down bitch That is a down bitch That's a big down bitch and that's a crazy play Because it's like, checkmate bitch Yeah You secuestraste a mi esposo, I got your mama Yeah Let's make a trade and we can dead this shit And she said, así na como me lo regreso, yo te la regreso Hey, sí And she looked like she was serious Bro, she fucking kidnapped <laughs> <laughs> she kidnapped the kidnappee's wife. You kidnapped her and then announced it on probably yeah. national television. <laughs> I'm sorry, not the kidnappee, the kidnapper. Yeah. Her husband became a kidnappee and she said, I'm going to be a kidnapper too. Yep. Yo, shout out to her. Uh, yeah, uh, Yadira. Yadira Guillermo. Saludos, eh? Un saludazo y pues. Uno you know? card. Uno, uno card, eh? El uno reverse. Uno reverse on the secuestradora del tequilero. Y si. Sí. Damn, but yeah, that shit was funny. That, like after that way, it's andas, andas ahí pisteando con los, you know, con, con el quien sea. Y luego te llega uno, hey, güey, al tequilero le llega, hey, güey, ¿ya viste este video, güey? Imagine, imagine you have to like sit there while everybody watches you talk about how, you know, alguien te, te, secuestra, te secuestró a tu mamá y tú eres el secuestrador, güey. Bro, que, que, le, que le llame el capo, el big capo, hey, güey, ¿cómo te pasó eso? <laughs> y sí, güey. ¿Cómo te pasó eso, güey? No mames, la tiro, la cagas, güey. Fucking embarrassment, no? Yeah, yeah. Big embarrassment. Paso de lanza. Paso de lanza de tiro. ¿Qué más llega? ¿Qué más hay? Ah, pues la otra no va a ser un, un de este topic muy uh, popular, pero the COVID mandates. Ah, sí, the COVID mandates. Ya, ya van llegando lo, otra vez los COVID mandates. Ya van a, a, eh. ya van a empezar a estar chingando con eso de nuevo, güey. Y sí. Que según hay un variant en... Canada, that's bad. Uh, why is it always like the most liberal countries that have the the first see it? Mm, no wonder. Yeah. I thought the whole that that's really ironic because in Canada everyone's supposed to be vaxxed. Like it's a it's a it's mandated. The whole country of Canada, everyone's supposed to be vaxxed. So if they're all vaxxed, how does how, how do they have more variants? Why are people allegedly getting more sick? I couldn't tell you. It's so, so but but check this shit out because um. I I, uh, I have a whole theory behind this. Okay. Not the mandate shit, but I just find it really ironic what's going on. Mm -hmm. Because check this shit out. If you've been paying attention to like artists and tours, I've never in the last five years or 10 years of uh, music or entertainment for that matter, have seen the elite artists go so hard on touring. Right. I've Taylor Swift doing four hour show uh, taking $15 million home every night. Every getting single, that bag right. Yeah, getting that bag right. Drake doing back-to-back -back shows on a Friday, excuse me, on a Friday and Saturday in Phoenix. Yep. Cariño was just here in January. He was here again this Friday. Mm -hmm. Who else? Uh, the country singers. Uh, oh, Morgan Wallen. Morgan Wallen y el otro, uh, Bryson or whatever. Uh -huh. I don't know his names, but they're all doing that. They're all doing big tours. They're all collecting a lot of money. And my theory is like, these are Hollywood elites. Right. What about if someone was just like, yo, they're about to shut this shit down again. Get your bag now. Yeah. Get sure. your bag now. Run it up because for the next year, you're probably not going to be able to tour. So if you can, just run it up. Drake has been at the peak of his career for the last five years. He has not fallen off. But in those last five years, excluding the pandemic time, he was never doing back-to-back -back shows like that. No. Nor was uh, Taylor Swift. Nor was the Wallens and all these other fucking people. Yeah. So my theory is like, what if they are, what about if they're in the know? I think they have to be. I think the thing is that, you know, you let them know early and then, but there's a, by the way, you know, Hey, we're going to let you know about this early so you can get your bag up, so you can get your money, right? Start getting your affairs in order. But by the way, when we need you, when we call you, you're going to have to do that commercial. You have to you're do gonna, that Pfizer commercial. You're going to have to tell these people to get vaxxed. We got you now, but you got to get us on the back end. Are you okay with that? Are you okay with that? Let's run it. Fucking satanic motherfuckers. That's right. And let's hit this bag up. But you're right. Like, you know, anybody in the regional, um, you know, anybody that likes regional Mexican music, you know, Beso's doing, going stupid hard uh, with the, with the touring. Um, este Junior H, 
este Luis R. Conríquez, este, um, este Nata. No eh, paran, uh, no fuerza paran. Fuerza Régida. And they're doing big, big shows. La, la, la que pasó apenas, güey. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se llama? En México. Arre. Arre Fest. Ya, yeah, Arre Fest, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Arre Fest, Saturday and Sunday, güey. Estaba que tronaba la verga como unas... Dijiste que... Se, se miraban como unas 70 mil personas. Como 70 fácil, mil personas. Fácil, fácil güey. Repleto, güey. ¿Cuánto pinche dinero no les va a salir ahí? Es lo que digo. O sea, en, en la historia como que tan... Como, como... Like, they know. Mm -hmm. It seems like they know. This is just like I said. It's just my theory. I think they just know. And they're like, let's run it up while we, while we can. Get yeah. this bag and secure it. They're securing the bag. I'm not mad at them securing the bag, but I just like, for me, someone who overthinks things and just sees things beyond what, what they are, you know, I'm not a sheep, so. And, and, you know, just to add to what I said, you know, un, un Junior H no es Taylor Swift. No, claro. No, no, no es, ¿verdad? Pero el punto es que the, the real, I think the real people that are behind this are the labels, mm -hmm. which are titans, which are gigantic, you know, most of them <clears throat> that, that have, uh, you know, these up and coming artists that you know that they've signed because they see something in them are big labels and you know you might be not be telling them directly like hey you're gonna have to get us on the back and you're not telling the artist that but you might be telling the label hey when the time comes you know we need get some of right. your artists to do a little something for us and then you know you scratch my back I'll scratch, scratch your back, back, you know, back. back. yeah you, you know, kick us a little thing on the back end right take care of us you know exactly so i don't know it's just uh it's very It's a coin. What a coincidence. What a coinkidink. What a coinkidink. I've never seen a, an artist like Peso Pluma come out into the scene and start doing back to back shows in the same city. Right. Never in my entire like life have I seen someone quickly reach that magnitude and say, you know what? I'm here now. Let me run it up. Right. Because that shit's hard. That shit's tiring. Yeah. You're going to a different city every night. You're doing the, you know, you're putting on a show. You're jumping up and down. Te cansas, güey. Y otra. Otra que te tengo. Y this is very ironic, too. Okay. I don't know if you pay attention to the soccer shit, la, el fútbol, pero Cristiano se fue para allá, para pa Saudi, Saudi mm -hmm. Arabia. Yeah. So it was him, Cristiano, um, el morinto de Brasil, ¿cómo se llama? Neymar. Neymar. Um, también se fue otro, el Benzema. And like another person went down there. They, they all did like one year deals. Oh, really? Yeah, they all did like one year, two year deals at most, but they're, they're like $200 million one year deals. The bags are nasty, huh? Yeah, it's like $200 million for one season and that's it. What a coincidence. <laughs> what, what a, a coincidence, fucking, what a fucking yeah. coincidence. Like they're, they're, they're really saying right now, let me fucking re, you know, let me take this money right now because I don't know what it looks like in two years or in another year from now. Because mm -hmm. what about if they, they're at their old club and they don't make, they take that shit right now. Right. So it's just a coincidence. I don't know, you know, don't get me started. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I think it plays into the whole thing because, you know, a esos los de Agua y los de Saudi, mm -hmm. a esos güey no les pesa darles unos 200 mil, you know? No. Cada uno, güey. Con carro y todo, güey. Con carro y todo, <laughs> sí. Con un Rolls Royce, ahí. Like. There's this video of, um, there's this video of, of uh, Neymar leaving his club, uh, PSG, and le dan un abrazo un güey, like, congratulating him. He's like, uh, le dice, uh, como, uh, what's that, what's that saying? Uh... What's that like uh, Arabic saying? Which one? Not alhamdulillah. It's uh. It's uh. When you yala? Greet, no, when you greet people. Oh. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Let me look at it real oh. quick. But uh, it's an Arabic saying. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, assalamu alaikum. Uh -huh. Assalamu assalam alaikum. He's like his uh, his uh, teammates like, dime assalamu alaikum y otros cincuenta otros quinientos euros. Y te damos y te damos otros quinientos mil euros. That's hilarious. Well, yeah, man, I think it, uh, you know, in that regard, it works out for everybody. You know, they drop a little, these guys drop a little bag on a player. The player goes over there. And then now you got all eyes on, on your uh, country over there, on the teams, you know, get a little bit more exposure. And all the cost was a little 200 mil they, per player. They got to, they just got to drill a little bit more oil and that's it. That's it. They that's just got to go while going on the weekend. One day, one weekend out of the, out of the month. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. It's a, it's a little strange. It's a, it's a little strange that we're coming up on uh, Biden's last year in office. You know, next year, uh, President Trump's going to reelect, you know, run again to for reelection. And hopefully, you know, he wants to win. Obviously, I want him to win as well. But it's just a little fucking. Yeah, it's, it's a, a it's a little iffy. It's just it's very strange how things work. They're going to want to do mail in ballots. OK, wow. <laughs> like, yeah. yo, like someone posted this shit on on on, on Instagram. They said, uh, throw five hundred dollars in an envelope and mail it to yourself. <laughs> do you do you believe do you have that much faith in, in the mail system to send five hundred dollars to yourself and not get lost? 
Hell no. So then why the fuck would you send in a mail-in ballot? There it is. There it is. You have that much fucking uh, faith in USPS? Fuck no. Si ahorita estamos esperando unos pinches zapatos que ya tienen tres semanas que los encargaba. <laughs> sí, güey. Llevan como tres semanas y no sé cómo están en Alaska. Hey, güey, andan para allá para abajo. They've been to more states than I have. <laughs> <laughs> Dead ass. Oh, fuck. Ay, güey, pues, así está la cosa. Está cabrón allá. Está cabrón la cosa. Allá y acá también. Allá y acá. Hey. Pero sí, güey. Es otra cosa, no sé. No sé qué otros. También Burning Man. Burning Man was a shit show. Oh, yeah, you, you, you touched on that. What happened at Burning Man? Burning Man, it's like a, it's a festival out there in the middle of nowhere in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. I think que se jun, este año se juntaron 70 mil personas. Es algo como, ¿cómo se llama el otro, güey? Coachella. Es que algo como Coachella, no sí. casi, al, algo así, pero. With the, with the same magnitude, right? Like, it's more like a festival for like electric music. Right, like, right. Yeah. But it, it's kind of like, you know, you're outdoors, you're out in the middle mm -hmm. of the desert kind of thing, right? Yeah, it's like the fucking hippies que se la quieren llevar. Rich hippies. Rich hippies. Yeah. Que se la quieren llevar de que, ah, acá no. They're fucking probably on MDA. And I shit. wear chancletas. Yeah, I wear chancletas. And you know what? Um, llovió, güey. Yeah. Y esa pinche tierra en, ese en esa área particular está como... It's like clay. Clay. It's real thick, probably. And it's like clay, you know, like once you get... A, it's, that, it's like really fine dirt. When you get a little bit of water in it, it gets really clay-like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And chiclosa. Yeah. It's not regular mud. Mud in itself is already bad, but, you know, it's, it's worse out there. And it fucking rained. It rained like at the beginning of the fucking festival. Yeah. And people couldn't leave. So they got stuck. People were like without water, food and shit. And people, uh, Diplo and uh, Chris Rock, they're like, fuck this show. They just walked to the nearest road and got hitchhiked. That's fucking crazy. Imagine. And you know what I said, dog? This is fucked up on me to say, but I said, God, I see what you did to uh, Burning Man. Please do Coachella next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that to them? <laughs> Porque en Fadan, güey, en yeah. Fadan, Coachella it was a cool thing at one point where anybody could just really go. Anybody could, you know, fork out two or three hundred dollars and that in itself was expensive, right? Mm -hmm. so, pero ya se, ya se llegó, excuse me, it's to the point where people can't even do that anymore. Ya yes, los pinches tickets hasta en mil dólares. Mil dólares. Pinches cabanas de diez mil dólares, güey. Te dan un pinche que burritos de uh, bean and cheese burritos for sixty dollars. <laughs> Yo, let's get, let's pop. We gotta start a pop up. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like that's crazy, dog. That's insane. So you know, I yeah, last not last year. I think the year before, um, I was driving to California, and I made the mistake of making like the trip. That same, I dipped to California on Monday, mm -hmm. and that I didn't realize that Coachella was that weekend. Oh fuck, bro. I was in traffic and in, in, uh, driving through Coachella. Yeah. I was stuck there for like two hours. Wow. You know, you should be able to drive through Coachella within 15 minutes. Sure. Yeah. Top, like from start to finish. Yeah. You're hauling ass. You're, you know, you're just driving no. right, right through. And I couldn't think of it, what was going on. And then like once I passed it, I was just like, oh, shit, Coachella. Bro, you should have seen how many Ubers were just driving people out of Coachella with fucking people passed out on the back. Oof. Que feo. Que feo. Fue horrible. Fue horrible. Fue horrible. horrible. Um, I was I had a question about uh Burning Man. So after all that shit happened, did the show go on or no. did they just cancel it? Pues some people like some people still did their sets, but it was it was sketchy. Like yeah. it was really sketchy in the sense that uh like it was rained out. I saw wires like just plugged up and they were uh you know in a foot of water. Oh. And I'm just like, bro, like you know, like just one bad thing. Yeah. Your kaputs. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Uh, for what? So also you can come back and tell me that, oh, I had an epiphany. I had, I had a, I, I, I'm, I'm myself again. I'm myself again. again the I, moon, the moon hit. The you moon. Know. Yeah. Hey, see, tu y peso pluma me están cantando. Tu y peso pluma la luna, dile. Hey. Sí, 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 como no. Espera mi llamada a las 2.22 de la mañana, pendeja. sí. Hey, I purposely sent a message to you at 444. <laughs> yeah. ¿Cómo estás para la chingada? Sí. Fuck. Ay, güey. But, uh, but yeah, man, a lot, of, a lot of weird shit's been happening, but aquí andamos. 
Peace. All my people in the Phoenix area, el sábado 23 de septiembre en Rancho Choa, se viene Rancho La Revolución del Güero Flores. Vamos. ¿Eh? Y vámonos recio. Para que caigan allí en Rancho Choa, la 6070 Broadway, si gustan, va a venir la banda Siragüen de Michoacán, Alan y Roberto de aquí de la Finiquera, Esteban y la, y la Plevada, uh, la banda experta también van a estar allí. Saludos. Saludos. Y los morenos de la sierra, por si quieren caerle, ya saben, esa es la invitación. No nos manden mensajes que, que si estamos en el rancho o no. <risa> Ahí, ya está sabes dónde vamos a estar. Ahí está la invitación, ¿eh? el, el sábado 23 de septiembre y van a tener otro evento para la semana que entra. En ese no sé si vamos a ir, pero sin miedo al éxito, vamos ahí, cáiganle, okay. apoyen a la plebada, Chepe, Juan Chío y todo, ¿ver? ¿eh? Un saludazo, Un saludazo. A, a los viejones. Y si alguien por ahí, pues mira el podcast. Díganos un abracito acá, pues un, un saludito. Si abrazo. me quieren regalar una Chepe, no la desprecio, ¿eh? Mira. Aquí está, se me está acabando, güey. Se me está sí, acabando. Sí. Necesito sí. otra. Si, me, si ven el bote light. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, if you do see us there, if you guys ever do want to pull up, uh, it's a thing in the west side of Phoenix. It's very fun. I don't just say that because uh, it's our friends. I genuinely mean that it's a blast every fucking time I, that I've gone. Yeah, it's, a, it's an experience. It's something different. You get to listen to great music. You get to be in an environment where you... Don't really get to go too often, probably. Probably yeah. like 99% of the population hasn't experienced something like that. No. It's nice. It's nice. It's dope. It's uh, live. It's live. That tiro va a estar live. Hey. So, si, si, si le caen ahí, un abracito de eso, ya saben, aquí estamos, la plebada, un, una fotito. Y ahí está la invitación para que sepan, eh. Ya de allí no nos... No, no sé nos jodan, nada, no, no nos jodan. jodan. No me hablen, no me hablen. No me hablen. A, a, lo, menos que, a lo menos que estén solteras y tengan amigas, eh. Sí, sí, entonces sí. Sí, porque de jotadas, no. <risa> no. Ya saben. Pero ya saben, ¿eh? Otra cosa que tengas que decir. No, pues muchas gracias a, a todos que, pues que ven el YouTube y pues que nos delazan ahí en el, en el Spotify o en el Apple. Muchas sí. gracias y... Suscríbanse por favor al YouTube. Ya saben, we know that you guys like watching video more than listening to audio. There are some people that are uh, hardcore traditional podcast listeners where they do prefer listening to audio, but... Uh, we do our best to try to hit every possible uh, form of consumption consumption of the product that we have for you guys. So if, if it's on Spotify, you, you can either listen to it or actually watch it. Obviously, it's on YouTube in 1080. No podemos darles más. Eh, es, es lo que hay. Pero sí se les agradece mucho que pues compartan con los que que compartan el podcast y lo vean. Ahí también no sean tan shy. Dejen un comentario. Mándenselo a otras plebitas. Dejen su número. Dejen, <risa> Dejen su número, eh. Nomás digan que para quién es. Si es para mí o es para José. Eh, eh. Ya sabes. Porque para los dos no. We don't share. <risa> no, we don't share. There's too many of you to be sharing. One. Exactly. Eh, pónganse en filita y las atendemos en caliente. Bueno, pues ya estuvo o qué? Ya estuvo. Ya estuvo. Y como les dije otra vez, uh, para el 23 de septiembre va a haber un evento en Rancho Ochoa. Se viene Rancho La Revolución. El Güero Flores. Se viene uh, también la banda Sirwen de Michoacán. Alan y Roberto de aquí de La Finiquera. Banda La Experta y Los Manos de la Sierra. ¿eh? Ahí estamos. Una cosita más, una cosita más. Ladies, no las dejen que las manoseen en los antros. No le digan a G que es de Sudamérica. Y no mandan su, sus ballots en, en el correo, por favor. No, sus ballots. Please, that's the most important thing. If you're going to get out there and vote, please vote in person. It's your... Uh, it's your It's your civic duty to actually go out there and vote. People oftentimes say like, oh, my vote doesn't matter. It does matter. Get that shit out of your head. I genuinely mean that. I'm not saying that to be a, a piece of shit. I genuinely believe that. I used to be that person that didn't want to do that. But it's your civic duty. I'm not telling you to pick one side or the other. That's up to you. But nonetheless, get out there and fucking vote. Exactamente. Un abracito. Y un beso. beso. Adios. No les vas a cantar la de Belicón. Ah, sí, 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 les voy a cantar la del Belicón. Porque les tenemos algo que les va a llegar a TikTok. Vámonos. Así va. De los, de los corridos traducidos, este es la del Belicón. Su servidor, Josi. Vámonos. I'm the Belicón, the one that doesn't move without a convoy. In 2019, I let you losers know. 
that I run the show. Really big guns with lots of ammo. TMZ on me cause I got that glow. Don't act like you don't know. Mocos. I know más. I know más. Se acabó la cosa. Se acabó la cosa.